what are the values your technology represents and what are its affordances what wisdom can a judge of a constitutional court impart to young innovators and entrepreneurs at the forefront of our ongoing technological revolution it is often said that technology develops at a speed which the law cannot keep up with this may seem true in the heat of the moment but if we take a step back our history is a testament to the fact that law and technological developments share a dialectic relationship they speak to one another constantly each one pushing the other forward at a point in history ships were considered the pinnacle of modern technology but with every voyage came a significant risk of losing all your goods and the ship itself and together with it human life to the misfortune of the high seas it was a law of corporate ownership and financing that allowed businesses to manage the risk of overseas voyages leading to the first generation of entrepreneurs and venture capitalists later it was the rapid technological innovation of the industrial revolution that led to the disciplines of labor law and patent law tomorrow your creations will frame the next stage of the debate between technology and the law so today i want to leave you with two questions that i hope you ask yourself what are the values your technology represents and what are its affordances when i say value i do not mean the monetary worth of your ideas innovations or technology i mean what principled values the technology represents and in particular what are the values it furthers in the context you seek to deploy it let me give you an example I remember a time when speaking to another person required a landline connection and working with a colleague meant that you had to be in the same room physically today video conferencing technology has transformed the way we communicate and work thus we can say that the values of this technology are facilitating communication and collaboration the values of a technology may further change in different contexts you only need to look at the indian judiciary to know how this may be the case during the covid-19 pandemic the supreme court introduced virtual hearings which till date allows litigants and lawyers from outside delhi to appear before the supreme court courts across india held as many as 43 million hearings these millions of hearings made us quickly realize how virtual hearings helped female lawyers who otherwise faced difficulties appearing physically in court due to the gender demands of domestic work and caregiving 